Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. This is Joe Pugh for IFL TV. We're here at the Ben Davison Performance Centre. Um, Mr Lee Wood, how are you, mate? Yeah, I'm good, thank you, mate. Uh, good to catch up with everyone today and uh, voice my recent opinion on certain people. Um, yeah, in the aftermath of the Josh Warrington fight, very quiet. Um, didn't really speak to much media, you just took the win, got on with it, I think. You wanted to work in the background to get that fight at the city ground and now today, uh, as you say, you want to get some thoughts out and uh, yeah, why, why, why was it that you wanted to keep quiet and do your work in the background in the aftermath? Yeah, well, uh, once I found out the fight wasn't happening, it was, it was a hard time for me. People was coming into the gym to interview all the fighters and, oh, come and catch a minute and about why things aren't happening and that. It's like, I could, I could, honestly, I could not have done an interview. I probably would have ended up crying on camera. I didn't really want that. So, um, very frustrating time. I felt like the rug was pulled from underneath me. I felt like I've done everything I need to do to make that fight. And um, I've been through so much to try and make that fight. Um, and it's not been able to come off. So, um, you know, we need to step back. I had to step back, reassess, change my goals and... Um, I'm not saying it's never going to happen. I would love to pencil something in for next year if I'm still fighting, but um, it may or may not happen, though. So. Yeah, in the post-fight press conference, oh, well, I think for your last couple of fights, you've made it clear that you're not going to be around forever. Lee, um, for you at the minute, how are you feeling uh, in training? Do you think you've got one, two, three, maybe enough to get to that City ground fight next year, or is it a case of maybe seeing it fight by fight? No, uh, if we're basing it off how I'm performing and how I'm feeling, 100% I could. But it's more to the fact of, like, what are these fights taking out of me? How many punches am I taking? That's the only that's the only thing that's making me second think. Like, I don't want to keep coming through these fights and taking a load of punishment. That's why I want to take it fight by fight. I mean, come through these fights pretty much unscathed, then brilliant. But um, I can't keep taking the amount of punches that I take um, again and again and again and again. Just for the money or f for whatever reason, you know, you need to be smart. So. In the build-up to the Josh Warrington fight, it was respectful between you. Um, Josh is always been an intense guy around fight week, especially when it comes to the Wayne. But as far as fight weeks go, certainly for Josh, it was very calm, it was very professional. And then since that night in October last year, it's kind of gone downhill, your relationship... Uh, yeah, <laughs> hasn't blossomed, it's done the opposite, mate. So, uh, yeah, what has happened with yeah. yourself and Josh? I, I feel like he was only respectful because he thought he was going to win the fight. Mm. And anyone, anyone could be like that. Anyone could be nice to someone because they think they're going to win. And then when the result don't go their way, then start being a prick. That's what he's done. Um, you know, I was, I was very respectful on the build-up. I could have said a lot more, but I didn't. You know, I said, I pretty much said, you know, this is what's going to happen. This time I'm going to win. You're going to, you're going to, have some, um, some some good moments early on, but I'll make you pay for them. And everything that I said um, came out and was true. Um, but yeah, he just he's just gone off like a bit of a of a dick. Um, the things he said, I don't know how he has the audacity to say some of the things he said, but he does. Um, yeah, he's just doing he's just doing what everyone's editing. And I just I just want to shut him up for good, to be honest. Yeah, I think might have even been last night on Twitter. You was going back and forth. He said. <laughs> Uh, you were squeared in like a pig every time that he hit you in that first fight. Um, we've never really seen you have these kind of back and forths, Lee. So, yeah, wh why is Josh kind of going into that territory? I don't know how, like, how he can say the things he said when I knocked him out on his back, but um, he does. And, you know, I was replying on Twitter sometimes, you know, I go for a phase where I'm sat giggling to myself and I just give it him and all these little army of fans that want to help him try tweet things, I give it them as well. And um, I was enjoying it last night, some of the things he said, and I think it, it was comical, but um, I meant what I said as well. Um, you know, he said something about the lines, along the lines of he, he punched me around the ring for six rounds, but I'd rather get punched around the ring for six rounds to get knocked out flat on my back. Um, and I said that to him as well, and uh, there's a few things said. Um, but yeah, he's just he's just going on. Like I said as well, it's it's almost like an ex-girlfriend. He's just going on and on and won't leave you alone. But um, I'd like to shut him up for good. Um, and if I do, great. And if I don't get the opportunity to, then that W is still on my record. 
it's, it's no uh, no pressure on my back. So I think he done an interview after Dawn Smith knocked out Jose Zapata at the weekend, calling you a diva, um, and mentioned Floyd Mayweather purses. So are you pricing yourself out no. of the rematch? Let me ask you a question, right? Two fighters fight, yep. right? They get paid whatever they get paid. They go into a rematch. The person that won the first fight, do you think they should have more money or less money? More money. More money. That, that's, 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 the, that's the answer to that question. I'm not pricing myself. In fact, if we can get this fight in Nottingham, I would probably even take the same money as we got in the first fight. But what should happen really is he should get less money the second time around and that money that comes off him should go on top of mine. Um, but going into a smaller arena, obviously, you know, you have to make adjustments because the gate would be smaller. But like I said, I would take the same as what I got for the first fight um, as champion, again, in, in my own arena in Nottingham. So um, I think it's down to Josh. I think it's down to the promoters as well. But um, there's definitely genuine need of there. I think the build-up would be entertaining because I'll not hold back. I'll give it in both barrels. Um, at the press, or if there's a face-to-face, um, it, it may even go off. But, um, you know, they have to get someone in there. But I genuinely don't like him. And um, I'm going to say exactly how I feel uh, if the fight happens and we have any any media present or press conference or press conference or whatever is going to get it. So, if this was the only kind of viable option, would you be willing to kind of sit down in a room with Josh and his team, your team, and kind of sit around the table and get this fight over the line? Because let's have it right, it is an absolutely massive domestic rematch now and. Yeah, it's going to be huge. Yeah, I think it's a, it's a lot bigger than the first fight. Um, it's not down to me and Josh, it's more down to the uh, the broadcasters and, and the promoters. But um, I'm open for the conversations. Um, I think conversations are happening. Um, but he's not my only option. He makes that I'm, a, I'm his only option, but I'm not. You know, um, I'm still ranked number one in the division. Uh, last time I checked on box rec and maybe bring magazine one or two, whatever, but, um, and I want fighter of the year. Um, I've got a lot of options. He isn't my only option. I maybe he's an option, but saying that, you know, um, I'd like to shut him up for good. Um, and I'd like to do it. I'd like to do a better job. No, sorry, not a better job. I'd like to do a quicker job because it's going to be hard to do a better job as he's flat on his back. But, um, yeah, I'd like to shut him up. Just to finish off then, Lee, um, just spoke to, Good friend Jordan Gill, who's had an absolute resurgence to his career. Um, see your face just smiling there, talking about him. Yeah, how pleased are for you, you that you've both had these careers now, which have just kind of catapulted in the last two years? Yeah, look at the shape of him, yeah. unbelievable shape. Um, and you can look at, as you look at him, you can see he's in a good place physically and, and mentally, he's in a really good place. And that's down to how. How you prepare for fight? How you prepare for a fight and the preparation that the team do down here? And um, not not many people know, but Jordan actually helped me the same way I've have, I've helped him. So um, back in 2018, was both at the Ingle Gym or 17, was both at the Ingle Gym, not quite getting anywhere, grafting our arse off, um, not getting opportunities. And Jordan actually left the gym, and I stayed at the gym. And then within so many months, he he won the Commonwealth title and the Dave Caldwell and. I was getting promises, promises, and in the December time, 2018, you know, something fell through for me, and I went back to where we were still living together, and I was crying, I was really upset, and I was just about to go home, and he said to me, look, come and sign with Dave, like, Dave can't train you, but he can, he can manage you, you know, get your opportunities, and then, um, you know, I signed with Dave, and then in the March, I got the Commonwealth title, and I had a really good year, 2019, which really um, gave me that boost that I needed at the time, and... Um, I can't thank Jordan enough and, and Caldwell enough for that, that moment in my career. Obviously, then I came to, to Ben and um, Jordan was going for a really difficult time, which I didn't know about until a, a few a month or weeks later. Um, and I was, I was kept ringing him saying, look, they, 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 they don't want to commit to people with the time, Ben and, and Lee and everyone, because they didn't have a lot of time. But I was saying, look, just, just come out on camp with me for the Warrington fight. Get your face in the mix build up a relationship with them and I'm sure they'll take you on and um, yeah he did he, he flew out on, on camp and um, I think days before that was when when he went for a really bad time and um, that kind of just got him in the gym and obviously turned turned the corner and um, then he was training alongside us and then um, 
obviously got the fight with Mick and, and the rest is history so he helped me just as much um, as I've helped him but most importantly we both helped ourselves as well Excellent, oh, that's absolutely fantastic to hear Lee, anything else you'd like to mention before we finish? Um, no nah, mate, just uh, you know I just want to date, I just want to fight because this could be my last year of fighting well, well it definitely is, this is into my last year of fighting um it pretty much from, from May time, around May time with my last year of fighting. So I want to be busy. I don't want to be sitting around for months and months and months. And it feels like twice as long at the minute because of the year that I had last year. It was like camp to fight, camp to fight, stag do for my best mate's wedding, then straight into a camp for Warrington, then straight into the fight. And um, it was pretty much like non stop. Um, I literally went on a stag do for my mate's wedding, then come back for a day, packed myself, flew out and camp the next day. It was just. It was, a, it was a busy year, but um, I won't change any of it. But this year, with nothing happening, it feels like twice as long. So I want to get a fight nailed down and um, hopefully have some news for everyone soon. And uh, I'm in the gym. I'm staying ready. I'm aiming to be, uh, to be ready to fight by, by June. That's not going to change. I'll be in the gym week in, week out, just in case I get something last minute to nail down and, uh, and fight. So uh, hopefully something soon. And uh, see you on fight night. See you on Fight Night. Excellent, Lee. Thank you very much for being to IFL TV. Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook.